Ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. All right, Ty Tuivasa back to work here tonight. This is a powerful heavyweight southpaw. He's got power in both hands, and he's just the guy who always loved to fight. Thankfully, he's able to do it professionally, and the results in the UFC have been outstanding to this point in time. Big right hand there. All right, well-timed leg kick by him there, and a lot of heavy pressure on that lead leg, and he made him pay for it. Well, we spoke about oh, oh, oh. He's hurt bad. Oh! He checked that last one. Right on the button. All right, so we're starting to see some swelling now, DC. We'll see if he can make some adjustments defense. He's taking too many of these shots at top. He's got to his head. Right? He's waiting. He's being reactive. You gotta be active in your motions before your opponent sets up their attacks. So more output at least in the early going. Oh, that's a nice strike. Block that punch. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. He's back to the clinch. certainly found the target. It's so clear that the guy that's going forward is the guy that's successful. Oh! Side control. And busy as he looks to improve position here. There's the elbow. All right, so you can see some swelling on the facial region now as his opponent lands yet another strike, and that one was clean. I mean, this guy is so clean with his strike. He knows exactly what he wants to accomplish, and he does a great job of doing just that. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here, and he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, going for a leg lock. Heel hook looks tight. Oh, that's got to be it. Oh, and he gets up. He beat the knee by creating distance. Once you free your knee from the hips, you have a chance. This man was so good at staying calm in the face of adversity. A beautiful ground and pound, and that will cut it. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. When you get a bad spot on the ground and you want to reverse it, that's what you need to do. Master class in changing position, unreal to see. Oh, good block there. Nice crack there. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person that's this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, he's got to try to find a way to stop him. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut, and now all the blood that's coming from the cut. Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this guy. It's a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combinations with the kick. Well, we know you fans out there generally don't like premature stoppages, but I'm not sure this would be premature. I mean, his face is essentially shut closed at this point of the fight. He's just been beat up. He's been outclassed. He's been outworked. He's been outsmarted. His opponent has just been better. He's been better in every aspect of fighting, and it's showing in all the swelling that is on his face. Leading 
from his cheek now. Oh, it looks like he's got the sub locked in. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Well, the swelling on his face is extreme at this point in time. I'm not sure that the doctor's going to let him continue here. Cut man hustling in, and he's going to apply that end swell quickly. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and think that you will not be wearing the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what changes he makes to, to give himself an opportunity. Ready. Round two on the way. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Every time he lands, the cut gets worse. What a great job recognizing his easiest path to victory. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Tuivasa gets pounded here with these elbows to the head. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking side. He got it done with his strike. He fought well behind the jab, but it was a significant strike that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Right into side control, upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten the out and just go for the finish. Tuivasa's eye is absolutely revolting to look at. I know DC's got only one eye open right now, but I think it's probably time for the referee to call for the ringside position. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Whiffs on the right hand. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far, perhaps a oh, great deception to land the flying knee. We go two minutes down here in the second round. Oh. Whiffs on the elbow. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut is opened up. Good work. Well, you can still attack the thigh, right? We talk so much about calf kicks, but that's been a pretty effective weapon for him here tonight. It's a traditional, it's a traditional leg kick. Just throwing your hip, bang, whipping it into the thigh. Beautifully done by this fighter. Let's go. Let's open up that cut a little bit more. That is a damaging kick that lands. Collar tie here in the clinch. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Very nice leg kick there by Tui Vasa. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish. He rocked him, he hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, he passed and tried to find that shot again. Well, now that cut in the eye area, Daniel, becoming a major storyline. He's got to be careful. He's got to be very careful to address it right now before it gets to the point that there's nothing you can do about it. 
rejects the leg kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. All right, so now we start to see some... Oh! was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Send it inside the octagon once more. Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 24 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, El Guapo, Buff Luton. Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check is going to be carrying to the club tonight.